So you went to Turks and Caicos. Tell me that you flew first class or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I, I balled out on points. I had... I hadn't spent any of my credit card points ever since I've gotten this fucking card, the Chase one. Uh huh. Like literally, it's been 15 years. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, you must have so many fucking points. I had a million points, <laughs> which is which is the equivalent of ten thousand dollars. Yes. So it's not that like a million points sounds like a fuck ton, but like yeah. it's their value 15 that- years of spending on this card. Yeah. I I would think would equate to more points than that but whatever i'm not complaining it's fucking great sure. i mean we uh, you know i i was able to you know comp the flight basically did you transfer them to a different uh, airline or did you go straight through the like chase travel portal the chase oh, thing. Cody. Yeah. wait why because that's what they they value them the lowest that way what yeah they're valued at a penny and if you transfer them they could be valued as high as three cents per i could get trip i could well it depends what airline did you fly jet blue yeah. yeah, I don't know. You, yeah, I you, think that's 1.25. Oh, for the love of... My honeymoon's ruined! <laughs> it's okay, dude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now I'll never... Uh, I'm just going to only think back to this with sour memory. <laughs> Nine? Because I knew I couldn't... Yeah. I just know I could have gotten more. You know? No. Jet it Blue. JetBlue is great. The JetBlue Mint is fucking fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's Absolutely. amazing. But on the way there... So the, the red eye to Miami is... I mean, we're we talking flight logistics right now. I know you like to sure. talk about that. Yeah, so. okay, oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's get into it. So you did a red eye to Miami. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else likes to listen to this stuff. Who cares? Also, Fuck them. <laughs> Fast forward also, if you don't like it. <laughs> Shithead. No, it also interests me. Yes, yeah, I do it's like good. booking flights because I like to look up the plane and look up the the interior. Figure good out boy, they got the lay boy. flat seats. Yeah, and all that shit. So yeah, I did that. Booked. So <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna do a little <laughs> logistics here. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> I'm I'm intrigued now. I thought it was just going to be yeah. We got a red eye, and then we there's only a few flights to Turks and Caicos a day, okay. right? Because it's a really small airport. There's like three American flights and and some flights on. I think there's a JetBlue one. There's like one Delta one, whatever, right? So, getting business for that flight was like three times the amount as the cross country flight with the sure. lay flat seats. Mm-hmm. So instead of doing that, I just I booked on separate airlines. So I booked JetBlue from L.A. to Miami so we could have like a nice business class lay flat and it was a red eye so we could sleep. And then I just booked coach from there to because it's like an hour and a half flight. Oh, but that oh, means you have to. Turks and Caicos is in the Caribbean. right? Yeah. 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 I knew. But that means you have to get you have to like get your bags and then go back through. You have to recheck and go back through security. Yeah. And they lost Kelsey's bag. Uh. <laughs> the first air, the first flight did. JetBlue lost it. And they're like, oh, we'll just, you know, we'll put it on your next flight. And we're like, well, we're on a separate airline. And they're like, oh, well, we'll just give it to the airline. And you just have, just have to hope that they're going to send it. And it's got to go through customs and everything, right? It's like an right. unintended bag going through customs. Ay, ay, ay. And the way we got it was someone at the resort had a friend that worked at the Turks and Caicos airport. Like, once it was in the hands of American, they didn't hit us up. They didn't tell us that the bag was on its way. Nothing. We just like ho- hoped that they put it on the plane. Yeah. And Did then you have an air tag in it or anything? <clears throat> no, uh-huh. nothing. And it's our honeymoon, right? It's day one. I'm like, I got all my bags. I'm chilling. So, <laughs> so like, <laughs> sorry. Why? I'm, I'm in my I'm in my swim trunks. I'm in the ocean. Like, babe, you got to get in here. It's amazing. She's in a full sweatsuit because it's the only thing she has. But I bet she was a champ about it. <laughs> she was a champ. She was she a was. fucking champ. It's it's a really it's a really annoying thing to happen, especially yeah. on a honeymoon, especially when you're in a tropical destination and you have nothing but a fucking sweatsuit. Yeah. But she was a champ, honestly. She she had a great day, anyways. And for dinner, she wore my clothes, and uh, it was just a funny, you know. And then the next day, like I said, like one of the ladies that works at the hotel was just super nice, and she was like, "I have a friend who works at the airport. I'll hit him up." So she hit him up, and he just went back there and just was able to find the bag and put it on a car. Wow. And they drove it to the hotel. Wow. So it all worked But if out. she didn't know someone there, we wouldn't have been... Like, that bag would have just stayed there forever. Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> so it all worked out. But yeah, that that's uh, that's the flight story. Cool. Have you ever flown Mint? I have flown Mint. I Let's see. What have I flown? I've flown American first in business. I've flown JetBlue Mint. I've flown Singapore Airlines first class. And let's see. What was the other one? Uh, Emirates first class. Oh, what was the best one? Emirates. Emirates was by far the best. Really? Holy fucking really? shit! Yes. What it's, do they do? Like it's just the, the it, everything. All the food is on demand, and it's just 
top shelf everything and uh yeah you get to take a shower and um be naked you, know? you get naked yeah oh yeah right you get to be naked on an airplane which is a wild experience. that is pretty cool i but, do that often but it, you're not supposed to yeah no you're really not <laughs> uh, <laughs> they frown upon the, that sort of thing it's business class. What, I can't yeah. get naked? As, I thought it was mind your own business. <laughs> <Yeah>. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, oh, God, it fucking rocks. It, it, it reminds me of when you get, like, really good seats at a, at a sport game, like basketball or baseball, and you just go, God, I could just, I got to, I got to say fuck everything. I got to go Goggins mode and just, <laughs> and just become like a fucking billionaire. Yeah, just, <laughs> just trample over everybody and fucking sell my soul to the devil because these seats rock right 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 yeah. and eating caviar rocks oh there's david goggins why, why do we have him pull up? Yeah, oh no, just, pull up no record. for inspiration he completed 4030 pull-ups in 17 yeah. hours and 45 minutes That's what jesus it was. christ well so the the whole fucking uh, actually never mind this is unrelated but um keep going about the flight that's it that's it you were flown private um no, because I care about the environment. <laughs> yeah, I I care. Yeah, about neither the same. My carbon footprint. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Why yeah, have you? Sure. No. No. Huh. You know, there's a company now. What? I have, by the way, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you Fine. when after. But there's a company now where you can pay them uh-huh. to cancel your flight, like the carbon emissions of your flight. They'll suck the carbon out of the environment. Out of the. <laughs> it's real. It's fucking real. Carbon capture is a real thing now, and they capture the amount of carbon. That you just emitted into the air via your flight, okay. you can pay to have them suck that back out. Of what the, do they do with it? They put it in the soil. I don't know. <laughs> if that's a Carbon thing, offset. why don't they just consistently? Yeah, why do they What'd have to be? Why don't they just do it all the time? I think it's the scale. Like you know, you can't like reverse global warming yet, but like this, there's a lot of potential in this technology to reverse global warming. Well, and it probably offset. It probably puts a lot of carbon out there to power the machine. To, pull, to suck <laughs> yeah, it all you out, can, you can it's actually, powered by coal. But you can pay another company to suck that carbon. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's it's one big Ponzi scheme of of, of all these fucking sucking. machines, man. It, yeah, seriously. So, why don't so, we have this? So yet? every time I fly private, I make sure to <laughs> suck the carbon out to pay this company. Yes, this because shit? I yeah. care about the environment. Yeah. The only times I've flown private was with Post Malone, and it was that's the only times I've done it. So, you know, didn't have to pay for it. Right. Um, but it is, that's truly just another level. I wouldn't that's, like that because I, like so I like to be around the other people because that, by comparison, it makes you feel even better. Seeing the people walk past you and you're like, I'm already sitting down. <laughs> I got my up. fucking water and they're serving me champagne and the constant service. Like, do you get service on a private plane? Yeah, yeah, there's like a flight attendant. Okay. Is the food good? Yeah, it was good. Okay. I think from what I remember. Okay. We did it one time. We did it one time. It, 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 I've done it twice. One time it was from LA to Vegas, so like this like a 30 minute flight. Yeah, it's nothing. And then the other time was in um was in uh fucking uh Saint-Tropez, I think. From we flew from Paris to Whoa. Saint-Tropez. Whoa. And that one I think it was like part of like a sort of like a luxury like vacation package, so I think they did do yeah, food on that one, but that that was an unbelievable experience, truly. Damn, it's it's just crazy because you, you don't like there's no like security or anything, you know. Like, oh, there's no yeah, lines, there's nothing, you know. Yeah, I did a, a one of those uh, blade flight things from um, in New York from their little hub mm-hmm. to JFK, and it's like a three minute flight, and uh, it's because I got like half off, so I was like, you know, it's. It's a hundred bucks. That'd be the same price as an Uber. Yeah, and I'll and get was there it in three minutes. It was it was easy, and I got to like land in the airport, and then a GMC Yukon was there to pick me up, and it took me straight to the, uh, security. Man, it rocks. So anyway, this episode's all about how we're better than you, <laughs> and uh, no, about how we're losing touch. Oh yeah, losing touch. Oh for sure. Yes. Well, I haven't changed my socks in a week, so I don't know if that. Um, that that brings me down. So to you the told me you showered this morning, man. but you, I did. Then you put on dirt. You put re put on dirty socks. Well, okay. So these are smart wool socks, and they oh, they right. wick sweat. And I haven't really been doing anything that active except for like hitting the gas and the brake in my car, um, in my fucking rental car because my car got stolen. And oh yeah, um, what? Because you left the keys in it? No, no, I didn't do that. 